G'day and welcome to our unboxing, first impressions and day-to-day -day use of the portable, lightweight and versatile Lenovo Yoga 910. In this video, Dinah will be testing out what it's like to own a laptop and tablet hybrid using a variety of different applications while using the yoga in a range of different locations and positions. We'll also be performing a variation of a boot test that I call the Chrome test to show off the advantages that solid state drives have over hard disk drives. Remember, this is more of a hands-on day-to-day experience review as opposed to a typical tech spec and benchmark parade. However, the tech specs can be found in the description of this video. Anyway, does Diana approve of this awesome laptop? Well, keep watching to find out. G'day and welcome back to OS First Timer. In this episode, Dinah is going to be unboxing the Lenovo Yoga 910 computer. She could still keep technically going with her alien. The alien wear is fine, but it's, it's just getting a little bit too heavy and also... Oh, well, it's, it's not like it's gaining down. weight. It's not gaining weight and getting too heavy. No, <laughs> but when you're tired at night and you're trying to do work on the computer and you got it on you, it's getting... Yeah, but the main, the main reason is because of that. Ben needs a new computer. This is actually, I bought this MacBook back in 2009, early 2009, after working at McDonald's at 14 years old because I needed a school laptop. This thing is just a nightmare. <laughs> it's so slow and awful. It's so slow. I mean, he presses a button and he has to go and make a couple of It's five minute something. boot, five minute Before boot time. It reacts. Yeah, so the MacBook so. Wyatt, it's a five minute boot time. Then you click on Firefox, that's another two minutes. Everything you do on the computer, it's a click and you've got to wait 30 seconds. You want to close a tab, click, wait 30 seconds. You want to open a new tab click wait 30 seconds you want to yeah. watch a video even just YouTube videos lag on it you're watching a YouTube video and it's not internet the video will load you see it load and it's literally lagging and it's just so awful. what will happen is that I will get this because I wanted a lighter computer a faster computer and one with much better battery life because at the moment this is only two hours battery life uh, maximum two hours uh, no two it's hours when it was new two hours now, when it was new it's 20 minutes now hour, yeah. um you may notice what's actually happening is this this laptop it pretty much has to be plugged in all the time cord it's plugged in all the time because of the fact what you notice 37 percent not charging the battery is dying 37 percent is the highest charge it can take these days when we first got that computer year and a half and then the battery was completely dead and this is not having it plugged in all the, the only reason we have it plugged in all the time now is it pretty much has to be but yeah. before we use it like normal you get it get it down to about 10 percent up to 100 percent charge boom this computer and this one is supposed to have a 10 hour battery life which over is, 10 hours it says 10, 10 and a little bit for me because yeah. I, I like the portability aspect of a laptop being able to take it from room to room have it sitting up on the bed and you know typing away taking it into the lounge room taking it there yeah except okay so you're getting this and Ben is getting this yeah okay so fantastic. it's not as if we're turfing that I mean that was quite an expensive computer I, I consider and it's only just over three years old twelve hundred dollars so, so that's going to Ben this is the one that's pretty much gonna be gone be gone maybe just no, Matthew will probably like <laughs> <laughs> Ben's um, older brother seems to um, inherit all our stuff that we no longer have a use for. Just on that topic though, Alienware, a year and a half when the battery completely died, literally you unplug it and the screen goes off and the battery's dead. Like literally, you could have it plugged in four hours, take it out and it turns off straight away. The battery was dead. They replaced it free of charge because it only lasted a year and a half. Yeah. It's been another year and a half and the battery's practically almost dead again. So Alienware 14 laptop batteries are very terrible. Let's see if Lenovo can do better. So first of all, to start off, taking off the plastic, and you can see the word yoga up the front, yoga 910. This is the, four, there's a 1080p and a 4K model. Diana got the 4K model. Oh, gee, look at that. That's <laughs> <laughs> a nice, interesting. It just comes up. This, look, look at this, watch it go. Wee. <laughs> okay. Oh gosh, that is so light so, compared to that. <laughs> so what you're actually looking at here is this is a three kilo laptop. This is a 1.37 kilo laptop. Oh, that is so, I can see that's gonna, that 
It's that is be very so thin. Good to let's let's do the test. I'm going to put them up next to each other. So before you unbox any more, let's just put both laptops up to each other. So as you can see here, the Alienware 14 is this big, thick pile of power, while this Lenovo is much more streamlined, thin. We'll take a look at that soon. It's got a 360 hinge on it, which means you can do all the sorts of tent mode and sort okay. other sorts of stuff. But anyway, let's keep going on. Something's what? missing. They forgot to put something in there. What was that? Maybe that's an extra accessory that you get if you pay for it or something. Well, I hope it's not something that's missing. Okay. So while we're here, we'll talk a little bit about the specs. The Alienware here has 8 gig of RAM. The new Lenovo has 16 gig of RAM. This has a 1080p display. The Lenovo has a 4K display and it's also touchscreen, unlike the Alienware. So donor is going to have a touchscreen display. Is that it? What? It's such a thin box for such a thin really? laptop. Really? Is that all? Yeah, there's, there's nothing, nothing else. else in there. You can't take that out. No, you can't because that's... Yeah, but what's oh, in there? Oh, there's nothing in there. <laughs> this kind of pop is in there. <laughs> a thick box for a thin laptop. They trick you. You think it's a big, thick laptop and then you get pleasantly surprised when you open it. Um, just do note, the screens here. This is a 14-inch screen. This is 13.9-inch screen. So it's very slightly smaller. So let's, first of all, open it up. Wow. What do you think of the watch band hinge? The look of this. That's quite... I was actually looking at that. That's quite stylish, actually. Turn it around and have I a little like look. I like the silver. It's nice. Shall I... Oh, this feels... But this feels like I'm going to bend it. Well, you know what? It really can do yoga. <laughs> look at that. That's probably why they call it the yoga. That's probably so why they call it the yoga. So what you can actually do, flip it up, like do that, what you just did oh, again. I don't like doing that. Just do it. it doesn't feel natural for a... Okay, turn it around. No, like no, that. no, no, uh, tent mode, like around, like that. Oh yeah, because that's where the little... Yeah, the webcam. Ah. So that's called tent mode, okay? So what you can so actually do, the webcam's up here and you can... But then talk. the word's upside down, Lenovo. It's <laughs> okay. The Lenovo can be upside down. Okay. Um, but anyway, that's an example of a mode you can use it in. That's if you, for example, you're watching a video or something and you don't want to, you know, it's almost like a tablet. Oh, I don't know about this bending thing. It just feels like I'm going to break. It doesn't <laughs> feel natural to do with a laptop. How light and stuff does it feel oh, like? Oh, light like anything. I mean, that feels so big and cumbersome compared to this. But. Yeah, okay. You have also got a fingerprint reader here. But does it have the power what? of that, you know? Oh, that's a fingerprint reader. Yeah, that's a fingerprint. So an alternate login method if you, you know, preferred and stuff like that. It has a uh, fourth generation Core i7, 4700 NQ. And this new Lenovo over here has a uh, Core i7, 7500U processor. Okay, so it's a newer one, but it's in some ways it's not as powerful as the Alienware one. However, it is a lot more energy efficient than the um, Alienware one for power per watt. But speed, how does it compare with speed? Well, speed is determined over a bunch of different things. For example, processor, graphics card, hard drive, but it also depends what you're doing. For example, booting speed will be a lot better here on the Lenovo Yoga 910 here, as opposed to this, because this has a 750 gig hard disk drive, yet this has a one terabyte solid state drive. So the solid state drive is what's gonna really push the booting speed here and just general, you know, what you'd use at full speed. And here's the little... So you can pretty much oh, that's give it, it a go. That's lighter than the other one because the other yeah, one... Yeah, the other one's this big, long, thick, heavy, bulky power brick over there and this is just a quick... Yeah. It's actual power brick is built into the wall rather than a separate, have you yeah, noticed? Yeah, that's... Thing it. that sits on the ground. So it's not... Because that thing was quite annoying to have... Um, when I was trying to move the computer from here to yeah. there and whatever, and that was just sort of tagging. Yeah, around. I know. <laughs> okay. Okay, so um, basically we're gonna now pl plug this in, charge it up. Um, one thing you will notice, let's just look at the ports for a moment. The Alienware has ports you're used to, like HDMI, USB ports, like normal USB ports. Have a little look at the ports here. So over here you can see it's got the AC power jack port. To um, put this in? Yep, and it's also got the USB Type-C port. So on the other side of the laptop, we've got a USB 3.0 port, a combo audio jack, a Nova button, a uh, Novo button I mean. How small should your finger be <laughs> to touch that? <laughs> <laughs> Small and pointy finger. <laughs> and you also need, you've also got a power button. Okay, here's a little look at the keyboard. It's got a pretty big trackpad. There's and a, a fingerprint, fingerprint reader. Thing. As you can see, that's what the watch band hinge looks like from the back. And there it is opening up. All the way flat. <laughs> okay, so it's now time to plug in the laptop and we'll charge it up and once it gets to, you know, a full charge then we will continue our tests. Oh, 
Is it plugged in properly? Do you have to ask if it's plugged in properly? Yeah, it's, it's got a firm grip there. See, it's not, you can't just pull it out really easily. And upside down, or can you do it the wrong way? Oh, I didn't even think about that. Let's just have a little look. It looks like you could do it the same on both sides. So, where are we going to plug it in? Over here? An advantage of having the power pack here is that, you know, you can pull it around and you don't have the, you know, a bulky power pack annoying you as you're moving your computer around. However, the issue of it here is it is just a little bit thick. And if you've got a, like, an area like this, uh, it just, it won't fit. So, uh, Diana will have to be on the ground here while we just set up the new laptop. Okay, so, turn it on. The on thing is that, is yep. The only thing I'd be worried about with it on the side if you go to pick up your laptop and it's like, you know, yeah, or something know. like that. The Alienware had the on button here, which I think is much better because you could accidentally press it while carrying it. Well, here we go. First of all, hi there. Let's get a few things out of the way. What is your country and region? Now, just before you start, you can use a trackpad if you are doing Just click on it, use it. Tell me how you feel with the trackpad. Yeah, it's okay. Okay. But it's funny how it automatically goes to US and... I oh, know, it's always because they're like the, you know, the main country in the world. Really? <laughs> what I'd call the main country. Okay. We're Australians, so... Now, instead of doing it like that, try use your finger on the screen. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, it does. Now, is that... The other one's not a touch yeah, screen. Yeah, you don't have a touch screen on the other one. Now, oh, wow. let's just say... That's um, easier. Okay, the rest is all good, I so you can click next. I didn't even know it was a touch so screen. So click next at the bottom. So there. English? Oh, the keyboard yeah, it's all layout. Good. Yeah, US. Why not Australian? Because there is no Australian layout. Just click next. Are you sure about this, though? Yep, yep, that's yep. our time. Can click next. How do you feel about oh, touch screen? Oh, that's so good, because that saves time then trying to... We're going to be doing a few things later on. You're going to be testing out towards the end of this video what it's like to have a portable laptop going in a mode where it's almost like practically a tablet computer where you flip the keyboard all the way to the back use right. it in bed almost like you know like that you're gonna try it in a variety of different ways of using it just to get the full experience here okay there's some legal stuff you can just accept that you always accept the legal yep. stuff otherwise you can't go on yep um, was, there, was there actually a decline <laughs> <laughs> no so you you either accept it or, or you take the computer back <laughs> okay so next up it says just go on to network 4g so it's already it's it's actually detected it. Yeah, of course. I've got to get used to this touch screen. You don't have to always use the touch screen. It's there if you want to use it. You get it, sometimes you can use that, sometimes you can use the touch screen. Completely up to you. Um, so now the computer's just doing its general checking for updates. This might Already? take- Already? Yeah, because- Oh, since it was manufactured. Yeah. Hi, we're happy you're here. This is all Windows Well, I'm stuff. home. I'm happy that you're here. <laughs> um, and it's getting critical updates. So that's a Windows 10. This is not a Lenovo thing you're seeing right now. This is just the general Windows 10, everything setting up. Okay, so next up, it wants you to make it yours. So you type in your Microsoft, you know, um, email and all of that, and then it just sets up the computer for you. Welcome to Windows Hello. Verify your identity and buy things in stores using your fingerprint. I oh, much okay. prefer that. So this is your fingerprint. So let's get that set up. Okay, but which finger? This one? What finger do you use the most? That well, for what? <laughs> well, for touching things. <laughs> what else? <laughs> Picking up for? <laughs> Depends what I'm touching. We're pointing. <laughs> yeah, it's like, okay, come on, let's just... Get your finger in there. Okay, great. Touch it again. You touch it a few times just so it can detect you touching it. Yep, move your finger slightly across the reader now. <laughs> <laughs> literally having to press your finger. There you go. Now it's happy. So you just, you have to get your whole finger, not just this light little touch, you've got to really squash your finger but into it. I don't normally squash my finger when I'm touching things. <laughs> okay, set up a pin you can use. I like this touch screen. Yeah, I, I wasn't filming you doing the touch screen just then. So what do you feel? Do you prefer touching the screen or do you prefer dragging your finger on and then clicking? I actually prefer having the ability to do both. Okay. Because there might be times that I want to use that and there might mm. be times when it's just easier yeah. to do that. Also note that with a touch screen, if you have a web page you can scroll down the web page up oh, and down instead of going to the, to the side, side yeah you can just go up, up down okay. like that straight away oh cortana's on this one as well yeah cortana it's a windows 10 thing so cortana is your sidekick i'm ready to help you with anything they're <laughs> going a little bit over the top with the description there okay so it's just going to get someone's getting excited because they're going to get a new computer they're going to update oh, this it is, this is really lame <laughs> why are you doing this that's your new computer oh, there spying, that's all. so it knows my picture yep so Basically, Diana's got her um, desktop background there. That's um, actually of our backyard. Um, in Tassie. In Tasmania. 
Tasmania. Once um, we move once there. Once we move, we're going to move there very soon. Um, so, yeah, basically, um, we'll do all the settings and stuff to make it, you know, the way you like to use it. I do want to do a test, though. It looks like it's leaving a scratch on the <laughs> screen when you do that. Look. Yeah, this is Microsoft Edge. We'll get you Firefox pretty soon or Chrome, whatever you prefer to use. But um, just using Edge, let's just see what it's like using it as a laptop. And then we're going to try it in a kind of a tablet mode. Okay, a different kind of mode of using the computer. So what I want you to do is I want you to basically go on smh.com. Just type in smh and then go to the website. But using don't do any touch screen stuff. Just click on it. This one? Yeah. And then scroll down using the sidebar at the side. Yep, and going up and down and then go back up to the top. There we go. So now what I want you to do is I want you to flip the screen backwards so that the screen is in line with the um, keyboard. So flip it all the way backwards. Oh, I don't know about All the way that. back, all the way. It says, do you want to switch to tablet mode? Close it all the way. You're like, you can use it like that, but I want you to have it held like almost like you're using a but tablet computer. But then I feel as if I'm going to be touching the keys on the back. The keys shouldn't work. Let's say you've got this open, right? Yeah. And you start doing the keys. Oh, no. It's... They don't respond. No, they don't. Oh, they don't that's respond. because it's turned right around. Yeah, so because it's turned right around, they're assuming they're, you won't, that you're, you're not going to touch it. They're assuming that you're not going to go <laughs> Yeah, touching like the keyboards like that. <laughs> yeah, so they, they hold that off. Okay, yeah. portrait oh, mode. Yeah, yeah. So if you're accessing a website like that and now, you want to um, see yeah yeah just hold your computer you can press oh, the keys at the back I no, don't hold like it. pressing the keys hold at it. the you back don't I'm not okay so imagine you've got it in portrait mode right yeah. and you're flipping through the news like okay. that Mm -hmm. But imagine lying in bed, like reading things. You get oh, what I mean? That would be good. Yeah. You, you know, you see lying almost like reading a book, holding a book. Can't do that with the like that. Way. You definitely can't do this. <laughs> see, this is another kind of you know you can flip up yeah. and down, hold it, and then you can click on something, and then you can go through. Oh, okay, this is this error thing, and then go yeah. up and down with that. You see, so that's another way of using the computer. Okay. Um, you could also you know have it the way you were showing without the keyboard when you want to show somebody something. Do you like how it automatically flips? Like the screen flips in between portrait and the other yeah. thing. So here you could be showing somebody something and, you know, go up and down and show or have a video playing without the keyboard sticking out. Yeah. So that's another way you can use it. You tap somewhere, the keyboard yeah. comes up, you tie it. Um, if you're not in tablet mode, what you do is you just simply tap the keyboard to bring it oh, up and tap it to get it rid of it. You see? see? So that's uh, that's where the keyboard is. If you had it in that okay. mode or you wanted okay. to have that mode for whatever that reason. That makes sense. Yeah. So how do you feel about using it in these two different ways? This way, um, the portrait, holding oh, it like a tablet. I prefer having... Having it plugged in though thing. is a little bit different because you've got it plugged in right yeah. now. And I, I prefer having the keyboard because mm. I'm a keyboard person. Yeah. But then having the ability <laughs> to, <laughs> to touch. do things on the screen yeah okay so I like that okay freedom could you of see, choice okay could you see yourself though using it as a tablet like completely flicking it lying in bed reading it and without the cord obviously well maybe if I and, was reading something you know, that reading I didn't websites have websites and stuff yeah. and you weren't typing and stuff yeah. and you're just reading and tapping watching and watching something you know. yes okay so here we are back again um, Dona's now setting up another Lenovo computer because Windows Update completely messed up the last one and it was a huge mess but oh. for the trouble they gave us a free three year warranty Warranty. Do you also type with another keyboard layout? No. Next up, the legal stuff. In short, you have to accept to use Windows. You can decline, but then, you know, no Windows. Do you accept? Yes. Okay, first of all, what you're seeing here is you're seeing what I call the Chrome test. Now, it's a little bit similar to a boot test. It's looking at both computers here, seeing which is going to boot up and get into Chrome first. Because sometimes you boot up a computer and you know that situation. Look at this. This one's Lenovo's wow. already on the disk and that one's still doing its Alienware thing. I've clicked on Chrome and Lenovo took 18 seconds and it's in Google Chrome. Oh, wow. The reason I do it like that is because... Just because a computer can get to the desktop quickly, it can still be doing other stuff while it's on the desktop and it's not actually ready to use. So this actually shows you when your computer is ready to use, okay? <laughs> look so, at the difference. Yeah, I know. And now look at this. I've clicked Chrome. Now look at how long. On this computer, it took like three seconds to open Chrome. Now look at this. With the hard disk drive and the Alienware, we're still waiting for Chrome to open. I've clicked it. Look at this. And it's now it's open. It's got a white screen, but we're still waiting. We're literally still waiting for Chrome. That's how long it takes. Now, you're about to see in a moment, I actually show you how fast the Alienware is, again, after it's been completely formatted. So we're about to see that now. Anyway, this is still going... 18 seconds versus... Over and now, a minute. Over a and minute. now, stop. There we go. Oh. And one, 
minute and seven seconds. Okay, now here we go. We're doing a boot test between the two alien wares. This is actually just one alien wear, but this is about a week apart. I was just thinking, I didn't, I didn't <laughs> remember owning two of them. So on the right here, we've got the bloated alien wear, which is when you had it. And we've also got the formatted alien wear. So a complete clean install of Windows 10 we've got here. And we're seeing which computer boots faster. Now, this is a bit surprising. Look at this. Which actually booted faster? Somehow, it looks like the one that gets to the desktop first, I don't know how this is even possible, it looks like the bloated Alienware got really? to it first rather than Dad's reformatted one. But watch this. I click Chrome on both computers. Now look at how Chrome is different. On your bloated Alienware, Chrome actually takes longer to get ready before it's ready on the formatted oh, one. Oh, so, so the bloated one's just pretending yeah. that now it's ready. Now the formatted one, look, now Chrome's ready. Yeah. Now let's look, bloated one's still going. See how yeah. it, it makes a difference of how long it takes for things to actually start up when the computer first turns on. Yeah, okay. so basically there's the illusion that it looks ready, but it may not actually exactly. be ready See, to use. Exactly, it's still not ready until now. See, yeah. big difference. Okay, there we go. Okay, so our next test here before you start, this is simulating, it's actually daytime outside, but I'm trying to simulate that it's nighttime right now. We're simulating a nighttime shop. So you right now are pretending that you're shopping, doing the Woolworths shop. So let's just say now you're here and you're in this mode See, it's like a tablet mode right now. You're in your bed. I want you to now search for a packet of chips. Just a packet of chips, and you want to add get three packs of chips. Now, see how you've typed up there, and the keyboard comes up, and then the little search bar. How is that? Great. And now imagine you're, you know, scrolling through and searching for a packet of chips. Well, first of all, I would choose all the specials. Because okay. I only buy things on special. And what's this like exactly? How Ooh, do you I like feel? that one. That one looks good, but... Oh, that one. How do you feel about going, you know, scrolling through and doing it like yeah, this? Yeah, it's like a tablet. <laughs> do you, so you actually feel yeah, this is comfortable to you? Yep. Okay. So do you prefer this? Shh, I'm trying to concentrate. <laughs> no, but you're not doing a real shot. I am doing a real shot. <laughs> do you prefer this using tablet mode or do you prefer to sit with your keyboard sticking out in front of you and how would you prefer to do a shot? Actually, this is easier. This is easier. So you prefer so to do it like this. On, yes. For those wondering, the reason we have this in, it's, it's actually an Ethernet adapter, actually for Microsoft Surface Pro, but it works in this too um, because this has no Ethernet port. So we're too far from the internet right now. It doesn't pick up from the other end of the house. Anyway, there we go. Now tell me just a bit about the battery life in this. How oh, are you? Oh, fantastic battery life. I mean, the previous one that I had, over the months, the, it just declined with its battery. Yep. Basically, it would never get up to full charge anymore. And it wasn't good initially either. And it we did discuss that earlier in the review. It wasn't really good yeah. initially either. But this one, I mean, it gives me about 10 hours of use of the computer, um, either just hands-on using it or just leaving it at the side on. That being said, you do have it at full brightness. It so does go into battery saver, which dims the brightness probably at about... 20%. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it happens. I, I know it happens. I've seen it. Yeah. It happens with my service. That can be turned on and off. Um, with the brightness level at night time, like because it is a nighttime environment, you can easily just flick from the side here and choose. Okay, brightness. I don't need it this bright, so I'm just gonna put it to what level I want it at. Right. Yeah. But I like it at the brightest myself personally. Um, the brighter it is, generally at full brightness, I've noticed the battery. If it's at 100, it'll tell me it's got a four hours. If you've got it at about 50% brightness, it goes up to about eight hours, okay? So that's just what I've noticed. But it's getting you through the day each day, isn't it? It's getting me through the day each day. And then as soon as it goes dim, to me, that's the indicator, oh, very soon you're going to have to charge it up. And I charge it up once it gets to about 10%. Okay. You've been using this laptop for, I think, about a week now. You've never had it in this mode before and done your shopping like this before or, you know, used it in tablet mode. Do you think, because I've shown you this and you've had a little go of it, do you think you'll use it in this mode more often. I do, but my only thing is in the tablet mode, I know that you said that this is all disabled. Yeah, it is. The keyboard, but it just feels funny, especially if you're going to hold it like this. Yeah. It, by the way, it tilts to the position it you put it in. It makes you feel as if you're, I don't know, going to touch the buttons and ruin something on the screen. But no, in fact, won't. the keyboard is the disabled. The moment it gets to the flat yeah. position, as soon as it goes beyond flat, as yeah. in, you know, when it's I say... It's the name yoga. <laughs> yeah. Because look at it. That's well, a real yoga position, yeah. isn't it? You could also literally sit, instead of having it as a flat tablet, if you had it yeah, like this you on you... Could you could have like it like that, so you could do it like that as well if you preferred that. It's however you prefer to have it yeah. yourself, okay? Anyway, we're going to try... So, I, I love the 
fact it's so adjustable mm. to whatever comfort level you want, whatever position you want. But in this position, is this still disabled? Yep. yep. Oh, it is. It's as soon as you get, let's say this screen was put and it was a flat, long oh, thing, as okay. soon as it goes, you know, under 180. Degrees. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Now for our next test, you're going to be trying out Algodoo, and this is to just kind of feel what it's like touching the screen and multi touch kind of thing as well. So, first of all, just on the screen, I want you to use your finger like this, and just draw kind of like little blocks, kind of like that kind of little um, different shaped blocks, you know, like this kind of thing. Just on your computer like that, so no, 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 oh, not that big, not that big. Be... Little blocks, little blocks. I, and it can't be zigzag. You can it. make those, but it, I've just got it in this kind of block mode for now. Okay. Now stop, stop, stop. Yeah? Now I want you to build a tower out of those blocks. Oh no. <laughs> you may... I wish you told me that before I did <laughs> yeah. so many. Okay, so now try and build a little tower. Now this is interesting because it'll show you how to kind of do two fingers. Let's say with this, you're lifting this block up and see how it's waggling side to side? Yeah. If you actually grab, I've only got one hand to do this, but I could actually see using two fingers, place it. So if you kind of arrange, the, I can't do it I'll with one hand. You get it, try and arrange like, put two blocks up and then a block on top, okay. two blocks up and a block on top. And tell well, me how so is this feeling? I have to move them out of the way. Just move, move. <laughs> That block's a little bit small that you made. That can be a step. So you'll get that and then use your other finger. Wait, wait, you've got to grab it carefully with the other finger. And then you want one big long one on the top. You put them very far apart. <laughs> oh, I knocked them. <laughs> That's so silly. <laughs> stop, stop. I can't stop it. <laughs> it's just spinning like a windmill. Wait. Well, that's one way to make a windmill. You can actually make windmills in this game with motors and electronics. Okay. Well, you don't need it. Here we it. go. That Let's see is... how we're both using yeah. this at the same time. It can detect up to 10 points of touch at once. Oh, up to 10. Wouldn't yep. So I'm oh. going to grab this. Now, look at this. See how I'm grabbing this? I'm using two fingers, but I, I can't do it with one hand. Oh, <laughs> Put it on very carefully. Of course, you could have had other, you know, shaped blocks and stuff like that. So I could have done this. See? Yeah. And made that kind of a shaped block. See? So that that's easily done. And, you know, you can do a lot of things in this program. I can make some balls and it turns into water. So you can see how this simulation works exactly. So, um... <laughs> You, you get the picture. Anyway, as you can see, the performance is pretty good. It's not fantastic. Um, there is a little bit of lag, um, but this is a very demanding type program and it's running in 4K. Okay, so it's, it's doing all this graphics and stuff in 4K. So that's a pretty, you know, big thing that it's doing. Anyway, right now we're going to switch to something else. You can build cars. Kids can actually build cars and motors and do that kind of thing in this and make machines. But we're moving on now. That was just to show you how that works. Let's just pretend this was like a tablet computer and there was no keyboard built in. I want to just show you what it is like to use a touchscreen, you know, computer that's just a tablet and it has no built in. Let's say it's like a Surface Pro or something that doesn't include the actual keyboard with it, but you can get a keyboard for them. So let's say you're trying to type a document. Is this easier to type an actual document? Give it a go. It's not, it's not so easy, isn't no, it? No, I prefer keyboard. Yeah, it's okay for typing basic stuff and you're like, hello, I am a person or something like that. It's okay for basic stuff. But for this kind of situation, it is more efficient to have the keyboard and that's why it's good to have a convertible laptop such as the Yoga 910 as opposed to just a tablet that doesn't actually have a real yeah. keyboard, you see? True. So that's the advantage of that. Touch keyboard can work if you're doing something like a Woolworth shop and you're typing However, in a single word. An actual keyboard is better. Yeah, a lot better. So there you go, and then you can keep typing with that keyboard and see how much better it is. The only thing is, that position of the on-off switch, I would have probably preferred it in a position whereby it's not easy. Because, I mean, a lot of times you grab things by yeah. the side. Now, what if you accidentally press that? Yeah, that, that is one That would have been better, maybe up here, or even as a button up here on the keyboard. Yeah. You know, at the top, or, you know, or up here. Yeah, so that's the only thing you'd change. Yes, it yep. is. Okay. And this keyboard's actually a really nice keyboard to type with one and thing I do like this and I am used to this although initially when I first started using this I found that sometimes I'd position something somewhere but by the time I click it it's it's shifted mm. that is something I don't like about this laptop in Kilo when you're actually using your finger and stuff then you go to click on something sometimes when you click like I, I generally do that when I click you see and because it's actually detects you moving see me moving it here is actually moving 
the um, cursor. I don't know. Yeah, this there, isn't just an exclusive clicking thing. Yeah. It's also the moving thing. So, so I personally feel it should be an exclusive clicking thing. So when you're clicking it, you don't actually, you know, miss. Accidentally, yeah, accidentally roll it up and therefore your mouse has gone somewhere and you click on you something didn't else. Want it. Yeah. You know, if, yeah, you could be on your computer about to send, you know, a thousand dollars to the car company. I want to buy a car. Um, and then you accidentally, you go and press it. Then you accidentally send it to um, your mate in Woolworths, you know, so you've got to be careful about the whole clicking situation yeah but i'm used to it now it is something that you can become used to and then not make that mistake anymore yeah so it's okay. a matter of getting used to it that's all okay last of all you're going to just try out what it's like to you know draw a quick little diagram or something in an email or do with you but know some kind of painting before thing. i do what i actually do like is that you got the choice of moving it here and doing things or just uh, i'll close that yeah cancel and close yeah. so that's the beauty of this is that you can use it by touching Either way. things, moving, or you can yeah. click on things. Perfect. Multi-use. Okay. Fantastic. Um, tablet mode's hiding your desktop and that sticky note, so I've got it in that, just in case you're wondering why I've got it in the mode. Okay. Anyway, next up, let's say you were doing an email to somebody. So type, check out this little diagram below. So you've got that written down. Yeah. Now, you want to do a little diagram. Just do some quick little thing. Okay. What the heck is that? A bird, oh, a bird I saw on the balcony. I thought it was a carrot. Okay, <laughs> this diagram and um, do a like little circle around something and point, do an arrow. Okay, well, um, there's his beak. And then change colour and do an arrow. There there's we go. His back. See? Okay. And then you want to <laughs> send this, you want this to be a part of an email. So what you'll do is um, flip it back into the um, other mode. <laughs> Do you think it's easy to put it in different modes? Oh, but you want the keyboard sticking out. Is it easy to just flick into yeah, the yes, modes actually. you want and stuff? Fine. Okay, so you could simply do this. So you've copied it and then you put it into the email. Check out this diagram I made below. And then you've basically made a diagram without having to, you know, scan something or do all that. And you've got a little diagram below that's in the email. Good. You see what I mean? Yeah. So that's pretty, you know, a useful little thing actually being able to draw on the screen as opposed to, you know, imagine a mouse and track how much yeah. harder that would be. This is just actually very simple to kind of, you know, draw a little diagram with. I'm um, just on the topic of doing painting and stuff. As a final thing, we're going to check out fresh paint. Okay. So here you are on the lounge, ready to do kind of a little bit of painting. Now, see how you can really be in many different positions with this laptop. You can be. You know? Okay. So here we are, and you want to do some painting. So you might, you know, paint, um, you see all these different brushes and stuff like this. You want to try and use this kind of brush type thing here and do a little bit of painting. And then you might think, okay, now I want, you know, a, this kind of a brush and I'll kind of, you know, really get some stuff into there. Um, what do you think about painting using this program? And, Stuff like that. Oh, wow, you could really, honestly. And then you can if, use. If other you were tools. an artist, you could really create something. Yeah, here. exactly. Um, let me. Oh, you know those mouth and foot painting people. This would be excellent for them. Look, I and mean, then you could just without even. <laughs> okay. You know those. You know how you get those. Yeah. Cards from those mouth and foot painting people. Oh, there you go. So we can just add some colours here, and I know you can even mix like two colours together here. It's pretty crazy how you do it. Anyway, so you, let's just get um and see how you can actually mix colours together as well. I'm mixing like almost those two colours together a bit. Yes. See like that. So you can actually do that kind of thing as well. Yeah, oh, it looks like a real painting. I mean, you could just imagine printing something if you were actually artistic, unlike yeah. like us. Yeah. You could actually really create something yeah, so nice. Painting. Oh, but I'm not good at it. Well, do, are you worried about ruining my masterpiece or something? Do you like how it mixes, the paint mixes wow. in the middle like that? That's cool, That's isn't it? really like painting, yeah. isn't it? Oh, wow. And if you printed that off, somebody You'd think would think it was like really a scanned painted. kid's painting, wouldn't you? Well, look, it even has the little dots where it has yeah. a... Wow, that's pretty good. Yeah, exactly. It's a pretty, you know, interesting type. You know, getting some pink in there, get some yellow going, you know. So it's it's pretty interesting, isn't it? You could really create something good if you were actually talented. Yeah, unlike us. Okay, well, there we go. So what do you think about this computer overall? I actually feel it's true to its name, the yep. yoga, because it really can 
go into any position you want and it's light it's easy to use it's convertible true to its name the yoga and I love the fact that you can use it in laptop mode or you can use it in do that mode and do stuff too if, in yeah. tablet mode yeah and, okay. it, and even when it is in keyboard mode not only can you use and do this like move the mouse here but you can also click and select things on screen which is actually or even scroll without even having to move the mouse to the side to find the scrolling thing and do it. I mean, it's mm -hmm. it's just multi-use. It's the best of both worlds, really. Yeah. The only thing that I personally find a little bit of a letdown with this computer is the fact that there is a bit of a lack of ports and the trackpad. I just, I wish that, like, it was a separate button thing. There's a lack of ports overall. You don't have many ports yeah. on this computer. So oh, no. it would be nice to have an Ethernet port. It would be nice to have a CD drive. It would be nice to have a HDMI port if you want to hook it up to your TV um, or, you know there's adapters out there you can get a USB um, like here at the side you can get a HDMI adapter and kind of things like that to use all these things but then you've got all these adapters which is kind of annoying wouldn't you just prefer ports on the computer so that's the only I thing know, that... but I mean that may be a downside but you can get around it just use an adapter or whatever and you can still do the things that you need to do apart from the CD thing how would you look at a CD? Um, CD you can once again get an adapter you get a, a little portable CD drive oh, the little okay. little yep. boxes and plug it in you can also use a CD over Wi-Fi so let's say you got a program from the shop came on a CD you didn't have that I can actually stick it into my computer and actually transfer over Wi-Fi the CD to your computer and it stores from my computer to your computer the CD so you can do that as well. Overall, it just has so many advantages over the last computer that I was using. The way that I use it now is even a little bit different to the way I was using the previous computer because the previous one was so heavy and big and thick and I've never usually used tablet mode, whereas with this, I use both. I use the keyboard and sometimes I select things and do mm -hmm. things like that and I find that it makes what I'm doing a lot faster. Overall, I must admit, I am really happy with my new Lenovo 910 Yoga. It does everything I want it to do, and I'm really enjoying using it. Okay, great. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing our review, and we will see you in the next episode of OS First Timer. Bye.